So I think that that stigma is very dangerous and it's alarming that it's still happening, you know, 30 years after what we experienced in the um, 80s and 90s. Nyree Phillip is the community development officer for Baltimore Safe Haven. She is concerned about how our community is being perceived when it comes to monkeypox. I think the biggest concern is the fact that monkeypox is an epidemic that doesn't just affect the LGBTQIA people. Um, to me, it kind of reminds me of the HIV AIDS epidemic of the 90s, wherein it was branded as something that was specifically targeting our community. The CDC's website talks about messaging so people are not stigmatized and reminds us that monkeypox can be acquired by all people, regardless of gender identity or sexual orientation. Tamar Jones says the organization recently met with the community. Some of the concerns people brought up about monkeypox were dealing with how it's not enough vaccines for it, how it's just like it's targeting LGBTQ, and how we can prevent it, how we can keep our hands clean, how we can make sure our services are clean, and how we can keep our distance from each other. As far as vaccines in Maryland are concerned, the state health department says to date, it has enough doses from the federal government to vaccinate 3,200 patients with the two-dose vaccine. They are still in the process of getting phase three monkeypox vaccine from the federal government. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.